what is going on guys my name is Jay Fan. so welcome back to a brand new video in today's video I'm super excited to showcase you guys the newly awakened Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku you can get this Super Saiyan 2 Goku from the barbershop using the battlefield memories and then you need 30 of the clash medals in order to awaken him which costs around 80,000 battlefield memories so he is still quite an expensive character to get 100% but definitely worth it. He is definitely one of the most best free-to-play cards to have released so far. And um, I'm going to be showing you guys. And I'm going to be showing you guys off. Uh, hopefully really, really well. So before we get into the showcase, let's talk about the card really quickly and explain why he's so good. So for his stats, 11,202 HP, 11,524 attack, and 7,479 defense for... A TUR card without an EZA, that is some decent stats, especially the HP and attack. His leader skill is very good as well, providing 3 key and a 90% stat boost to super types. Now, if you do not have the Super Battle Road Goku, or even the Thousand Day Goku, then this guy is probably going to be your main, you know, free-to-play super leader for a majority of the time. I might even use him more often compared to the Super Battle Road Goku, because the Super Battle Road Goku I have has zero dupes in him so losing that 10 percent stat boost for a rainbow card is probably worth it more than the super battle road goku so for his super attack it is meteor assault and it causes supreme damage to the enemy and also raises his own defense for one turn greatly raises so i think that's a 50 percent defense boost and no extra effects there now we go to the passive skill where he really shines first off he gets attack and defense plus 40 percent for four turns at the start of the battle pretty much and during that, you can also boost up the attack and defense through either receiving an attack or doing an attack with this card. So, Goku here, uh, every time he receives an attack, increases his attack by 30%, and that caps at 180%. So, that's what makes him really good compared to the Vegeta. You can get that attack stat really high really quickly because, obviously, the enemy does more attacks to you compared to you doing one attack per turn or, at best, two attacks per turn where the Majin Vegeta, to, in order to get that attack up, he has to do an attack to get the 30% increase. And so for the Goku to increase his defense by 30%, you have to do attack. So that caps at, I think, 180% as well, or is it 120%? I forget every single time, um, you know, since they keep switching around. 120%, sweet. So with that, the Hidden Potential skill, level 17 critical, 9 additional. Obviously, they have... if. In the best scenario, you get 220% attack boost. You obviously want to excel that with criticals and then additionals just in case you want to get those uh, defense up, of course. It doesn't have to be a super attack, so you don't need that much additional. Now, for the Link skills, he has Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, Supreme Power, and Shattering Limit. There's some decent links there, you know, like Prepared for Battle, Shattering Limit. There's not many attack links. The only, you know, really good one is Super Saiyan here, so... That's uh, kind of a problem, but he gets so much attack anyway. And then for his categories, he has some decent ones here. Resurrected Warriors, Majibu Saga, Pure Saiyans, and Goku's Family. We're going to be running him on a Goku's Family category team with the Ella Go Bros as the friend leader, providing the Goku's Family category 170% attack boost, which is the most important part. Since it is a showcase on this card, I, I am going to be using Super Battle Road Goku as the 100% leader because we do want as much attack as possible. He's also a support as well. We have High School Gohan, which is going to be his main linking partner. He provides Super Class Allies 2 key and 25% attack and defense, and also provides Super Saiyan Link as well, so that's an extra bonus. Then we have the Youth Super Saiyan Gohan here. Does pretty much essentially the same thing as the High School Gohan, just not defense increase. We also have this Super Saiyan Goku, again, 25% attack and defense to allies, also having the Super Saiyan Link, and also having Prepared for Battle, as well as Shadow Limit as well. And then we have B-Pan just to help us get through the event. Nothing too serious. Unfortunately, she's not LR on Global at the moment. We are going to go up against the LR Gogeta Doken event. So let's get straight into it. And hopefully, I want to see 2 million attack damage at the very least. Let's see if we can get that. That would be super awesome to get. Let's get as much key as possible. I think that's probably the only thing that he's going to lack in is key. Unless we are activating the Prepared for Battle and Shining Limit, then I can see like it's not a big deal. But in this... Uh, scenario here i think we will have to be a little cautious with key actually not as much as i thought because we do have supports that provide key as well so we do have the goku straight away and i want to get him to attack uh, get attacked as much as possible of course 
good start already. I think having both of the Gokus together is going to be more valuable than the Gohan and Goku. So we'll do that. Everybody has an automatic super, so it doesn't really matter too much. 130,000 attack stat right now. So remember what his attack stat is originally at. And let's see how much it grows during the end phase. As you can see, uh, 850,000 attack stat already. It's only been one turn and only received one attack here. 800,000 damage. And now we take another hit there. And we take another hit. So three hits so far. To get his max, you do need to take, was it five hits? Six hits? Six hits. So we're already halfway there, honestly. Uh, that, so it's really, really easy compared to Margin Vegeta. I will showcase Margin Vegeta tomorrow, I believe. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. And make sure you ring the bell as well. I know that's a lot of YouTubers say it, but just if you want to definitely see the Margin Vegeta, I definitely recommend it. So you don't miss out and be first, I guess. But yeah, we're going to finish off this rotation here. And I actually like this rotation a lot. Just having the LR Go Bros and V-Pan in one rotation. Uh, perfectly fine okay so the main rotation i want to see is this one here so once we get all the key here we have 247,000. so it increased quite a bit his defense is looking really good as well 60,000. of course that is not maxed out yet and we do have everybody support passive activated so that's also a, a factor i guess super saiyan linked activated we increase our attack even further so now we're at 1.4 million attacks that already not even maxed out yet. There's only been turn two. I don't know if other turns. Almost 2 million critical. We get an additional normal attack for 380,000. Essentially getting 2 million damage just from that one turn. This guy is absolutely insane. And I hope the turn passive that he has on the restriction of the 40% is only when he appears. I haven't looked up too much about that. So if I am mistaken, I'm sorry. But if it is, every time he appears, that is actually really good. Because four turns is plenty um, to get that full 180%. We even get the stun. Which is not a good thing. Because now we can't receive any hits. Now I just realized that. <laughs> so that's a bad thing. Um, so we're going to be static a bit for this turn. Should get a 30% support boost as well. Uh, so let's see what the damage is now. 2834, and his defense has increased about 12,000 right there. So should be tanking all of these hits from Gogeta or Gokin Vegeta for double digit damage. Yeah, 1.1 mil. Definitely not as good as last time. I don't know. We're missing something there, or the terms have definitely ended then. And of course, we didn't get any boost increase as well. Already onto the last phase. That's crazy. I'm actually going to Ghost Usher here. Now, the reason why I'm Ghost Ushering here, I like that there's three attacks at the start. So, uh, as long as B-Pan doesn't get any stunned, I think we should be good. Um, but, as it seems... Actually, if we play that orange... Yeah, sweet. Okay, so... Ooh... Okay, I'm going to do this. You only need that one. I'm just scared that the Go Bros will kill, honestly. But yeah, okay. So, no potential stuns now. So, that's a good thing. And then we're going to receive a lot of hits uh, next turn. As long as the Go Bros do not do an additional super. Perfect. And, oh, thank you. It was an additional super. That would have been scary. Do, want, do not want to risk that um, stun. Alright, so we can at least take one extra hit. 226,000 attack stat right now. His defense is now increased. Actually, it's uh, dry. And that's because of the support. So, <laughs> don't worry about that. Alright, we take another hit. I don't even know what count we are at. But 1.3 million attack stat now. I don't think we're going to get the Doken mode. So, unfortunate for that. 835,000. We almost got to the 2 mil mark on that one critical. But... Maybe, yeah, can we get a critical on Gogeta and build enough attack to do two mil on him? As long as he survives one more turn, I think we can make it. He's still got three in, three bars or so, as long as this Gohan does not crit. Or additional super attack. Great, okay, so three bars. I need to probably normal hit with the Go Bros, but they built up so much key already that it's probably impossible. Yeah, oh man, we, um... 
We're in a sticky situation. We need one key from them. Okay, I'm going to have to do this. We're also going to do a Ghost Sasha again. I know it's uh, stupid, but I just want to have free range so that I can, you know, sort these orbs out. Okay, so at the very least, it's just going to be a 12 key super. Hopefully the additional attack is not a super. And I think we should be good. I think. And no crits. 2.4 mil attack stat, please. Ah! Uh, no! Okay, so... Unfortunately, the showcase has got to end there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. We ended up getting... What was it? I don't... 1.8 mil attack stat or something like that? I gotta recheck that. But anyway, guys... Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you guys do 100% him. He's definitely one of the best free-to-play cards in terms of being a TY as well and not even an LR or a EZA. So um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, especially if you're interested in Margin Vegeta's showcase coming out tomorrow. So anyway, guys, as always, have a good day. Stay busy. Peace out.